Welcome to South Dakota. We are out visiting some friends today in Badlands National Park. This is such a surreal experience to be surrounded by this large herd of bison. We literally just watched two adolescent bison butting their heads and fighting a little bit. never been this close to so many large animals before. So last night we camped at Sage Creek Campground in the National Park. It's just on the outskirts on the far side. Um, it was pretty awesome because there was bison in camp last night. We drove here from the Pinnacles entrance station. Uh, it's about 12 miles from there to the campground. And unsurprisingly, it took us about two hours to do that drive because there was just so much to see. We saw several herds of bison, the Badland formations, a coyote or two, and a huge prairie dog town, just full of little prairie dogs running around. Uh, yeah, it was quite the drive, and I'm excited to see the rest of the park today. Got to the town of Wall, where we are going to pick up some highly recommended donuts at the famous Wall Drugstore, which is just behind me and actually all around me. It's this entire street. Okay, so we've got our donuts. We have one chocolate and two uh, maple bars. So we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test and see if it was worth the 30 minute drive into town. My stepmom and stepsister said that these were the best donuts ever and then we had to come back for them. So we'll see if it's worth it. I'd say that's a solid donut. Solid it's, donut. It's like the coffee donut, like, deep fried crispy texture. Yep. Almost lemony. I feel like the cake flavor is a little lemony. Yeah, yours is really lemony. Mm -hmm. Very good. The chocolate takes some lemony out of that. Maple is the best for sure. I'm all on the chocolate train. Coming to Wall this morning was a solid use of our time to get some very, very good donuts, but now we're gonna hit the road and go back to the National Park and head out the south entrance as we make our way to Colorado.
breakfast after our donuts. Uh, we have a Dometic CFX 75 fridge freezer. And we finally just turned on the second half of the freezer yesterday. And hopefully it won't kill our batteries, but it's nice to have frozen fruit for smoothies in the morning. So we're gonna enjoy this and look at the view. Generally speaking, we don't spend all that much time in national parks just because of how busy they are, but occasionally we'll venture into one and this has been a pretty good experience, though our dog has made it a little bit difficult. Yeah, because we have our dog roam with us, you won't see us out on any trails in national parks since dogs aren't allowed, um, but it's still fun to explore just driving through, looking at overlooks and stopping and walking at like picnic areas like this. Um, it does kind of limit the experience having a dog, but it doesn't mean you can't venture into a park. Yeah, one of the nice things about the national parks is that the roadways tend to go to some of the most spectacular areas, so the access is really easy and you don't need to walk very far. That wraps our fairly brief time in the Badlands. We're not typically national park people, but we really enjoyed our time here. Highlights definitely include stopping at overlooks to view the unique geological formations, the myriad of wildlife viewable from the park roads, and spending a night with herds of bison roaming through camp. From here, we'll be driving through the rest of South Dakota and Nebraska en route to the Colorado Rockies, which is where we'll pick up in the next video. Thanks for watching and hit us up with a like and follow if you want to continue adventuring with us. Bye!